Hello adventurers, I have curated a list of 5 food that you must try when visiting Jeju Island. Let's begin! At the 5th place, we have the Heijangguk, also known as the Hangover Stew. The name comes from its reputation to cure hangovers. And it's not surprising because it's very hearty. Each spoonful of the thick beef broth felt like a warm hug. Definitely a must try, especially if it's your first time in Korea. For the fourth place, Jeju black pork. Why is it black pork, you might ask? The pork itself is not actually black. How it gets its name is when you eat the pork and stick out your tongue, it will be black. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's called black pork because the pig it's produced from had a black fur coat. These black pigs are unique to Jeju Island and they are said to be juicier and more tender. But is it true? Let's find out. We ordered the pork neck and the pork belly from Doldam black pork. It's nice that the stuff actually helps us to cook and even cut it up for us. Now, the moment of truth. Is it like any other pork? The smoke taste really like gooey. It's very, very nice. I have to agree that the black pork have a special tenderness and juiciness in it. But the kicker is how well they smoked the pork when they cook it that brings the flavour to another level. Definitely a must try. For the third place, fish and chips. What? I know it sounds weird because we're in Korea, like why fish and chips, right? But the fish and chips that served in this Hawaiian restaurant is different. You see, at first, I thought, hmm, what a weird fish and chips. Are these bones even edible? And I picked it up, put it in my mouth. Oh, not only it was edible, it was tasty, and the crunch, man, hmm, so addictive. The rest of the fish were filleted and fried in butter. Very flavorful, very crispy. The potatoes at the side were cooked in a very rich oil that gave it a deeper flavor. Really, I've never eaten fish and chips like this anywhere else before. Must try. Second place, Jeju abalones. One night, my wife and I were starving. We were looking for our dinner place, but everywhere was closed. That's when we found this abalone restaurant that made it a night to remember. They sell all things abalone and they prepare it fresh. We can even see them catching the abalones from the tank. Started with the abalone porridge. It was quite good. You can taste the velvety richness of the abalone in the porridge. But it gets better with the abalone soup. Mixed with mussels, clams, crabs and prawns, it becomes a mummy explosion. But I have to say, the star of the night was the butter grilled abalones. Ooh, the aroma of grilled butter, the savory goodness in my mouth, and mm, when I bite it, the silky springy texture, it was life changing. I liked it so much, I actually brought the shells home. Yeah, these were from the grilled abalones. So, what do you think? Nice, eh? The abalones we have back home is the canned ones. It tastes like rubber. Oh, but the ones here that are fresh, right? Oh my gosh. Eat abalone and jeju. Must eat, must eat. And are you ready? For number one, we have the grilled cutlass fish. <laughs> Actually, it looks like an eel, right? This long silver fish that looks like a knife is also known as kao chi. It's also unique to Jeju Island. And oh boy, it's a good fish. I had an unforgettable dining experience when I tried it at this restaurant. While waiting for the cutlass fish, we started on the side dishes. I really like their fish cake, japchae, and the anchovies. Oh, when you eat it with rice, mmm, tasty. And it's very obvious when the grilled fish actually comes because your saliva will all be flowing from the aroma. The service is so good that the staff will actually help you to remove the bones efficiently so that you don't fumble and end up with bones all over your fish. The grilled cutlass fish had a perfect blend of saltiness, sweetness and char. It was so delicious. <laughs> Recalling it makes me very hungry. The best part was, I can take my time to enjoy my fish without it ever going cold because it's served on a heated plate. They also sell the stewed version, but if I were to go back, I'll still get the grilled one. Yes, I really want to go back now. All the links to the food places are in the description below. Let me know in the comments if you think there are other must-eat food that should make it into this list. If you're looking to explore more of Jeju Island, 
check out my other video guides here and I'll see you there. Cutlass fish, cut, cutlass fish, cutlass, cutlass fish. <laughs> <laughs>